Hey everyone, if you're watching this video, either you just picked up your brand new Nintendo Switch Lite, or you're about to in the next few days. And although this is a great handheld and a great offering for the price from Nintendo, what you get in the box is pretty bare bones. You basically get your console and the USB-C charger, that is it. So there are a few essentials that you're going to have to budget for right away as soon as you purchase your Nintendo Switch. And that's what we're going to go through in the first part of the list today. And at the end, we're going to have a couple of bonus items which will help you really unlock the full potential of your Nintendo Switch Lite and really use it for everything you're paying for. So without further ado, we're going to get to the list. And as we're going through, all the items will be linked down below in the affiliate links with, for Amazon. So if you guys want to pick anything up, please use those links down below. You're going to be helping out the channel a lot. But like I said, without further ado, let's get to the first items on the list. So the first item on the list is a micro SD card. Although your Switch can function without it, honestly, reinstalling your games later down the road is going to waste a lot of time. So if you want a pure recommendation from me, get your micro SD card right away out of the gate. And honestly, even if you're focusing on buying physical games, the extra files you have to download are really going to fill up your Nintendo Switch pretty quickly. It only comes with 32 gigabytes of internal room. Now, I would say the current sweet spot for these micro SDs are around 128 gigabytes. You can easily get those cards for under 20 bucks. And honestly, 128 gigabytes is going to keep you going for at least a year or more. And honestly, there's probably a lot of you out there if you're focusing on physical media that are probably never even going to fill it up. The second item on the list is a case. It might seem obvious, but if you don't buy your case as soon as you buy your Nintendo Switch Lite, you have a high likelihood that you're going to scratch that console up, especially if you want to throw it in your bag and bring it along with you, because that's the whole point of this console. The old Nintendo Switch, you could get, get away with waiting for buying your case if you used it for only home use. But since this is a console that is most likely going to be on the go with you, I would say that buying a case should be done day one as soon as you buy your console. You don't have to go for big expensive models. Once again, for under 20 bucks, you have a lot of choices. I'm showing you guys one of the, the case I bought with mine, which is a basic bare bones model. But I'm going to link a few other cases out there that I know will properly protect your Nintendo Switch. And really, honestly, this is one of the items that I would not skip at all, even before any of the others on this list, because keeping your console safe is one of the most important things that you need to plan for. So last on the essentials list, we have game storage. Once again, this is because this is a console that is planned to be on the move. So if you're going to be out of the house a lot with the console, you're going to want to make sure that you have your games with you, because what's the point of having your console if you can't actually play your games? And since the Switch cartridges are so small, you're going to want to make sure you don't lose them, especially if you have kids that are going to be playing with the console as well. So I have two models here in front of me, and basically, whichever choice is depending on the size of your library and how much the case you choose can hold. Because if your original case can hold between four to eight games, well, depending on the size of your library, either you can maybe go with a small model like the one on my right that can hold six extra games, bringing your total somewhere between 10 to 14 games, or if you have a larger collection like me, you might want to go with the big model like this, which can hold up to 24 extra games. And when you cal calculate once again that your basic case is holding between 4 and 8 on average, that means that most people can, get sa can be fully satisfied with somewhere between 28 to 32 games. Now we're getting to those bonus items. Those items that are going to really help you unlock the full potential of your Nintendo Switch Lite. Because unlike the original Nintendo Switch, this one cannot be docked. What that means is that you might actually end up using tabletop mode more often than you did on your original Switch. Especially if you want to play with more than one player on your Nintendo Switch Lite. And for that, what you're going to need is some form of stand and controller. Now, there's actually two routes. The first route we're going to look at is going with one of these cheaper and more basic stands and going with wireless controllers. Here I have the 8-bit Do SN30 Pro, but uh, there's a lot of controllers out there. You can go with the basic Nintendo uh, Switch Pro controller. Now what's interesting about going the wireless route is that the price is going to skyrocket pretty quick. 
Let's forget the SM30 Pro. Let's go with a base. Let's imagine that we're buying a, a Nintendo Pro controller. That's 70 bucks right to begin with. The stand's only going to cost you about 10 to 15 bucks. But let's say you want this so that you can install it on the table and play with two players. Well, you're going to need two Pro controllers. At that point, we're talking about 140 bucks for your Pro controllers, and we're talking about 15 to 20 bucks for the stand. So we're somewhere around you know, $155 most likely for this combination. And although it really will unlock the full potential of your console and it'll probably be what's most comfortable because you will have no wires and even these stands still allow you to plug in and charge the console as it's holding it, uh, it's maybe not the best budget option out there. And that's why we're gonna look at route number two. So that second route is going with wired controllers. The reason why I prefer this route is because the price is actually a lot lower to get that two-player setup going. The base of this route, you're going to need your Hori Nintendo Switch Multiport. Now this is an accessory that doubles as a stand, a charging station, but it also gives you access to four USB ports. And what that means is that you can combine it with any cheap old uh, Nintendo Pro Controller, wired Pro Controller, like this one here that only costs about 20 bucks. And you got this whole thing going for two controllers, 40 bucks, the stand 35. For $75, you've got a two player setup going. And honestly, even if you're playing at home in tabletop mode, being able to use a wired Pro Controller is going to give you a big advantage, especially in those fighting games. Because although we have a D-pad on the Nintendo Switch Lite, uh, it doesn't compare to the D-pad on an actual Pro Controller. And for that, you can go through the controllers and figure out which one is best for you. I review a lot of controllers on the channel, so if you want to go take a look at the games you play and see which controller is better for you, you can find out exactly which one you should be choosing. Getting this two-player sub going to unlock the full potential of your Nintendo Switch Lite is really something special. When you can bring this to work and on a lunch break pop in a Street Fighter and throw down with one of your colleagues, honestly that's an experience that can't be replaced and I think that's really maybe one of the main reasons why you could decide to buy your Nintendo Switch Lite over a traditional Nintendo Switch. You could do it with your traditional Nintendo Switch as well. It's just that the portability factor is pushed really to the limit with the Nintendo Switch Lite, which is one of the best advantages to choosing that console. So that wraps it up for the list for today. So if you guys like this video and you want to help support the channel, as I said earlier, all the affiliate links are down below. So if you're looking at picking up any of these accessories anyway, help out the channel and use one of those links. If not, well, thank you very much for watching. And as usual, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.